welcome Taurus to your end of the month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe, guys. Okay. See what's going on with you. Get straight into the bull ring over here. Beautiful Tauruses. End of the month, please. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, there is some kind of turning point that is going on, and I do feel that there is ups and downs. This wheel has been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for almost the whole dang year. Um, so whatever karmic, you know, lifestyle um, changes and little things that are going around, it's just definitely just keeps pulling into this new cycle, new cycle, new cycle. Um Yeah, it just feels like it goes from one direction to the next direction. It must feel sometimes towards like you feel like you don't know if you're coming or going. At the end of the month, though, there is something definitely that's different. It could be a new idea um, about whatever is going on over here. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you definitely have some kind of happy surprises coming through. Um, you're going to feel very dreamy. Um, I also feel like because we do have the last super moon, which is the harvest moon coming in for the year, uh, last super moon that is for the year um this could be even talking about this new love that's coming in towards you i really see new love guys a happy surprise of new love i really do see that um when it comes to teamwork something that you can build off of something that you know implements you and they can really um collaborate with you some kind of teamwork as well building something like they want to build something with you they want to build this love with you they could even help you with your job your career something of this nature um but boy you guys are getting along very well there was you know there's sometimes you know that you're going to feel towards the end of the month that you know i do want to give up i just you know what i just kind of just feel like i'm so overwhelmed within cer certain situations that are going on within my life um right it's just sometimes it just feels like one little up is so high and then one down is so devastating that it just makes me feel so overwhelmed um what's really crazy though about this new love though i don't know yeah it's the queen of cups it's definitely new love new love thank you it just clarified it's new love this is something that's going to make you feel very comfortable you're going to feel this person is very very caring it could be a pisces cancer scorpio or Leo, Aries, or water and fire heavy in the chart, um, however it is, but definitely feeling like this person is highly intuitive, secret, secret, I got a secret, it could be a secret crush, you could be keeping it a secret, keeping this to yourself, this new crush to yourself, keeping this new relationship to yourself as you are building something not letting others know about your new secret crest, your new, you know, there's a lot of silence, though, about this situation. I feel that there's also some ways, too, that you might even feel just a little disconnected from your intuition. Um, there could be just something that's going on that's overwhelming you that's just keeping you from under, having a misunderstanding about the situation. It's not love, though. I don't believe it has this, I don't, Look, if, you, if you're suppressing the love situation, you're just keeping it to yourself, okay? It's not for everybody else. This is me. Maybe I manifested it. It's, my, it's for me and me only. I don't need the whole world to know about my new secret crush or my new love. Okay, it's, you know, because I, I just feel like, guys, you have other things that are on your plate that are going around. That, you know, this is kind of like, just let me do this. I have this misunderstanding going on over here within my life. It could even be money. You might have some kind of strain on financial, on your finances right now that you're really trying to get, you know, through. Because I see the three of pinnacles because, like, you know, I have this new love that's coming in. I don't want to really talk about that right now because I'm kind of having this financial problem um, where I'm not feeling like I'm really, you know, surpassing what I want to surpass. Maybe, you know, uh, you're waiting for a promotion. It hasn't come yet. So you're feeling like you have the five of cups. 
right? So you do feel like you're kind of in some kind of challenge mo uh, moment right now or some kind of disappointment um, where you're trying to push that push that away or uh, suppressing that or dealing with it. There could be some kind of loss, some kind of grief, something going on. Um, I do see this new love, though, over here, which is really crazy because the new love is the Hierophant. It definitely is this beautiful bond that you have. Um, and having this understanding that this person is here with you. Um, and you do feel like, you know, they're on your side. And so I do feel like it's just you kind of repressing, you know, everything around you, Taurus. So you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm dealing with this over here. I got this new love that I want to deal with. And I just don't feel like I'm going to go around and just, you know, tell everybody about all these things that are going on in my life. So I do feel like with the Five of Cups, it's like, I don't know. I really want the Five of Cups kind of upside down, though, in some ways. Because it's like, I don't know. Can we even have it sideways? Because it's like you are looking at the spill of milk over here, or whatever this issue is. But you know you have the Two of Cups behind you. You know you have this new love, right? You know you have that. So I would like it kind of sideways. because But it's like you're repressing everything. You're just kind of, uh, I don't want to look at this. I want to look at this, but I don't want everybody else to know what I'm looking at. Does that make sense? My God, it probably does. I think that's so Torian energy that it's probably almost too surreal. I'm Taurus, so I'm going to tell you right now, um, I feel like that was almost too surreal in a reading. And not just from a personal value of myself, but I mean just the overall Taurus way of looking at things. I Because I have a lot of Taurus. I mean, my, my husband's a Taurus. My sister-in-law's a Taurus. My friends are Tauruses. And I'm telling you right, that is the Taurus way. It's not so much that I'm keeping it a secret secret. I've got a secret. No, Taurus is like, I ain't got it. I just don't want to talk about this right now. Do you see that I'm trying to deal with something? This is for me and for me only. And I don't need to go around telling everybody, you know, Taurus is not the person to go around just telling everybody all their business. You know what I'm saying? So, and if I am, it's, I'm going to gloat about it later. But right now I'm kind of busy. The Tauruses are really not the biggest gloaters. Um, three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're having some kind of personal transfer. See, there's something going on with self. It's a personal transformation. This has to do with yourself. This is not a tower moment from the universe. This isn't a seven where the universe came in and said, I'm knocking this down. No, this is something you've done for yourself. Like, for instance, I'm quitting smoking. So if I'm over here looking at my three of cups going, and I'm really trying hard to do this, but I'm really having a challenge right now. But I could say I'm looking at these two of cups right now, but I just don't want to talk about this with anybody because I'm trying to deal with this personal challenge. See, you've got a personal challenge going on. It's keeping you away from everything else. So, it's yeah, you could say it's a secret within yourself. But it's just more like kind of being withdrawn. I, I like that word better. People could say that you have a secret. And to you could say, no, I'm just using my silence to withdraw. I just really don't want to connect with anything right now. I don't need any misunderstandings. I don't need your, your, um, opinion. I'm, I'm doing something, right? You could be dealing with somebody who's a little bitter or you just don't want them to know what's going on with your life because you don't want them bitter. You just don't want to hear it. Plain and simple. Queen of Swords upside down. Just quiet. I don't need to hear your opinion. I'm sorry. That's really what this comes down to. I don't need your opinion about what's going on in my life. I know I have three of cups down. I know I have this love behind me and I don't need to hear anything about any of the above. <laughs> right? But it's kind of crazy because you're on this kind of like lucky streak. But with the, with the Wheel of Fortune, because it's turning up and down, up and down, up and down, you don't feel like you're really on a lucky streak, right? But what you don't understand is the new love that you have coming towards you is the lucky streak while you're kind of still in the down over here about the Three of Cups, right? So it's kind of like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So you feel like this shift, but you don't, you know, it's like it's highly favorable, but yet there's some things going around that are kind of, 
imbalance, and we're just going to say they suck. Okay, just straight up. Whether it's your finances that are sucking or this whole, you know, this problem maybe with this queen of swords over here who wants to get into your business, maybe they suck. You know what I'm saying? Something sucks, okay? And that's just, that's really what it is. And you're trying to like rewrite something. You're trying to do something and you're trying to push things into the right direction. And I don't think that you really offering your intuition or what's going on with you or telling anybody about anything right now, this is just not, it's not the time. I want to keep it in my pasture. I want to keep it to myself. I just want to keep it to self right now. Keep it in my first house. Thank you. To myself. Um, yeah, because you're still going through this kind of despair. You're still having this kind of issue going on with this anxiety and stuff. Uh, but you do have this new love. It's crazy. It's like um, you're, you might even be having a little bit of issues getting towards this person and really showing them how much you care about them as well um, as you're having this kind of um, anxiety going on because of this personal transformation that you're going through. So they may even feel like you're holding back, okay? This new love, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, whoever this is, Aries, that you're dealing with might even feel like you're holding back from them. Um, from the overall, um, as they're trying to, yeah. So there just be like there could be some kind of pause, yeah, like I said, kind of a pause or surrender as you're trying to put all these pieces together. So. King of Pentacles, this person could be a very wealthy person. I just want you to know that right now. Bam, King of Pentacles coming up on the new love. Holy Gemini, this person could be a very prosperous. They could own their own job, their own business. Uh, they have great leadership very wealthy person um, you could have this very wealthy person coming in as you're over here trying to work on your work and trying to get through what it is you're trying to do keeping your high standards doing you know your work very focused on what it is you're trying to do with yourself and not giving all of the focus to the king of Pentacles uh, clarify on this king of Pentacles is your nine of cups Wow it just popped right out wow, what are these with the new love and manifestation? You guys could have manifested this person, but it does look like you are in the Four of Cups as well, and this person is an emperor. I'm telling you, for some of these guys, this person could be awfully wealthy. Now he's coming up, or she's coming up as the King of, the king of Wands, the Chariot, and the Emperor. Wow. So this person could have literally built their empire from scratch. But it's also come talking about seeing the bigger picture of overcoming a challenge. I think that they're seeing you overcoming this challenge over here, Taurus. I, you know, but they're really motivated to move toward you with courage. I see them as very protective, though, over you and over this situation. As coming up as the emperor, whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter. I see this person is very protective over you. They are very compassionate as the King of Cups. They want to protect you. They may even be offering you money if you, wow, if you need money. But Taurus Pride would probably never, majority of you would never take that. It's this thing called Taurus Pride. We don't like handouts. We work so hard for our money. Um, but, but they are showing up as a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups. And this new beautiful beginning that they do see you as awfully strong over here. And there is even saying that even when you're defeated and they know you're defeated, that you're holding on to this strength over here, Taurus. That this is a strength they've never seen. Um, and they've never seen someone so strong. Winning at all costs. You know, even if they see you in a competition, you have some kind of competition around you. They see you as a great competitor. They see that you're not going to 100% just sit back and be defeated. You're going to stay as strong as possible. This person sees you as so strong. Right? But there is this beautiful celebration with the opportunities and wishful thinking of the Seven of Cups. So no matter what the situation is, the searching for the purpose and getting out of the situation is all that you're trying to do. And that's what they notice you doing. They see that you are going to try your hardest to defeat this situation, come up with the best 
plan, the best solution, get your money and your finances balanced, whatever the three of cups is that's down, my friends, they see you winning. They see the fairness. If they know that you need a divorce, you are putting everything into everything to get your divorce, to get your justice, and to make this justified, right? Standing in your own truth. This person sees you as the cat. Let's just say the cat's meow, okay? And they do. They see that you do have some anxiety. But they also see you sitting in your intuition and knowing what it is about this strength and this courage. And this is really, you know, this new love of yours is really, um, wow. I'm going to say flabbergasted by the way that you're taking control of the reins over here um, when it comes to your responsibilities and your flexibilities and the way that you're doing things. Like I said, I don't think this person has ever in their life seen anyone maybe beside themselves work so hard. Because like I said, it looks like they're the type that came from nothing to build up. So to find someone as strong as themselves to do such a thing is really a turn on. Um, strength is a turn on though, isn't it, my friends? Taurus would say the same thing as I see you over here working your buns off to do what you need to do. Absolutely. You know, it is a turn on. How could it not be a turn on? And they're definitely turned on. It just builds the passion and the fire underneath them to say, wow. And this inspires them to look at you as this you know, as this uh, nine of pentacles over here saying, wow, look at you go. Now that's the type of person I want. A person who's inspired, a person who's a go-getter, the person who doesn't die um, and doesn't say, let's just roll over and die because things are bad. No, what I said was I'm going to take a little bit of a back seat. I might not be 100 right now in this new love connection, but it's because I'm doing something and they're saying, wow, wow. That's why you were a little disconnected to me. Wow, that turned me on more than, uh, than, you know, I wasn't sure why you were doing such a thing, but now that you told me why, you've really got my fire going. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Because I can see it too, though. If I knew that that was a reason why somebody, they were like, you know what, though, Taurus? The reason that I wasn't really, you know, 100% into the situation, even though I know you really want me and you really want to be interested in me, but you're going through something, and then you tell me how diligently you're over here trying to plant seeds, how hard you're working your buns off over here to get something done, that doesn't push me away. If anything, wow, that makes me want to give to you, that makes me want to plant seeds with you, that gets me inspired, that makes me just want to push at you more. You know, because I see your self-confidence, and I see you're a go-getter, and I see that you're going to do exactly what you say you're going to do. Right? This increases your resources. I see you're working so hard. Heck, yeah, that's a turn-on. Well, no, what a turn-off is is when I see that you need to do something, you're like, no, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, and you start fence-sitting. No, 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 you're not fence-sitting or trying to ignore me. You're saying, I'm trying to get this shit done. Yeah. That's the type of people we all want. Get something done, right? <clears throat> wow, guys. Let's get a moon card for the overall reading. Very beautiful, guys. Very beautiful. Yeah, when you see people want to work hard like that, that's just like, you know what? Let me help you, you know? Let me give you advice. If I can't help you this way, let me give you some advice this way. Everybody likes a good... Good hard worker. Believe in the impossible, my friends, in a blue moon. Expect, it, not expect, but expect a powerful change. Um, there is a powerful change that is coming in. And I do believe that the answers that you are looking for will come to you. Okay? I really do believe so. Okay. Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.